In today's video, we're going to talk about a bunch of new Blender add-ons and updates. This includes free add-ons, add-ons for modeling, animation, effects, grease pencil, productivity, and more. JCurve Tool by JNAM is a curve creation and manipulation add-on that will make your life much easier when dealing with curves inside Blender. We've been all there. We tried to duplicate a mesh along a curve, but the process doesn't always work whether it would be wrong orientation, the origin point, or something else. This add-on promises an easy way to fit any object along any curve. All you need to do is select the curve and select your mesh, and then click Create. You can also twist the curve and choose between different fit types. Furthermore, you can enter creation mode where you can create a curve just by holding Ctrl and clicking on the mesh exactly where you want the curve. You can download JCurve for free from GitHub, but if you like the tool and you find it useful, consider supporting the developer. Additionally, JNAM YouTube channel is a great resource if you want to learn more about Blender. Panic is a Blender add-on that will help you easily retopologize your mesh by allowing you to define your geometry patches precisely as you want. It will allow you to define up to six sides to one patch and of course, you can easily control the number of vertices and edges on each side by simply scrolling up and down with your mouse. To use this add-on, simply click on the high poly surface to create a patch. So instead of defining individual vertices, define the main points and the tool will fill up the area automatically. You can choose the number of vertices, drag the corner to adjust the point's position, and you can modify patch edges using curves control points. Another great free add-on from JNAM is JRemesh. This is a quad remesher for Blender 3 and it does exactly what it says. It helps you to rematch any model, but it works best for hard surface modeling. Because you can apply a multi-resolution modifier on top of that for hard surface sculpting. And of course, it is very useful when trying to create a low poly model. The retopology features use a free tool called Instance Meshes, which has to be downloaded separately and added to the add-on through the add-on preferences. But you can use the Blender default internal operator QuadriFlow. The add-on's interface is really simple. You just pick a remesh algorithm that you like, pick vertex counts, and hit remesh. The new remeshed object will be created and the original object will still be available, but it will be hidden so that the process is not completely destructive. Droplet Generator is a geometry node project that will allow you to procedurally generate full customizable, non-overlapping droplets on your objects. You can easily control the scale, density, distribution, and shape easily through the modifier panel, and it also offers support for custom weight maps and customizable droplet trails, and even a custom shader with the ability to limit the ray depth and shadows. Blender 3DS Importer is an extremely useful add-on that will allow you to import 3DS Max files into Blender. This add-on is for people who face troubles importing 3DS files into Blender and those who made a library with 3DS projects in the past. This tool can also be helpful when you download 3DS models and you can't use them directly within Blender, because sometimes this will be the only format provided. GraphKit is an add-on that will help you animate faster. It is a collection of six graph editor features that will greatly speed up the animation process inside Blender. The add-on allows you to edit multiple F-curves simultaneously, and some of its features include Amplify. This one is for adjusting the intensity of your animation. Repeat, which is used for looping the entire F-curve or selected keyframes at the same time. Also Fade, which is for fading in and out. In addition, there is Tween, which is a simple way to create anticipation, breakdowns, and overshots, which can add up so much life to your animation. And finally, there is Distribute, which is for creating even time in between keyframes. And lastly, there is Randomize, which is used for polishing your animation by giving it some organic randomness. Blast Frame developers are running a sale offer on all of their add-ons, called the Ultimate Animator Bundle, for 20% off. So if you want to get GraphKit, delete static channels, key selected keyframes, copy timing and ease add-on, in addition to keys add-on, you can grab the full bundle in the description below. Color Frame Renders is an add-on that will allow you to quickly generate colorful wireframe renders for your projects. The second version of the add-on is out. Now you can work with Color Frame Render in the edit mode to assign random colors to all the loose parts in the selection. 
Also, now you have the option to create new materials and add metallic shading to your materials. Additionally, you can change wireframe and background colors and even save and reuse color palettes for future projects. Simple Sci-Fi is an add-on that leverages the power of geometry nodes in Blender 3. It does that to help you create sci-fi environments in no time. And with the new Pro version, you have 6 more D-Packs, including 12 collections, a bunch of new K-Pack kit bashing inserts, and a new Dirty Node group shader to add more dirt to your scene. Also brand new generator, which allows you to create both displacement and geo panels. Sci-Fi Flex on the other hand is an add-on that uses a similar workflow to Simple Sci-Fi with somewhat modified generators, which you can apply to faces, edges, or vertices to create sci-fi surfaces and panels. However, unlike simple sci-fi, sci-fi flex does not create displacement maps. Matte Painter is an add-on that allows you to project paint your textures on your geometry directly in the viewport. It takes the common workflow of overpainting in Photoshop or Substance Painter and brings it to Blender. You can use this add-on to texture any number of objects from hard surface models to a whole cityscape. The add-on allows you to import multiple image layers, and the interface is divided into multiple sections. Layer section, where you can import your images, and the matte paint section, where you can create your shader and paint your texture. In addition to the file management, that will allow you to save all of your images or clear the unused ones. And finally, color grade, which allows you to manipulate the colors of your image. Grease Pencil from Mesh is an add-on for converting any mesh object into a grease pencil object with edge filtering, either for only sharp edges or for all edges, in addition to intersections and curved surface outlines. It also includes the ability to convert selected edges marked as grease, sharp, or freestyle. The add-on offers a free version, but if you want to get the full experience, the pro version includes features such as generate outlines around curved surfaces and generating lines at intersections even when there are no edges. Manga Converter is an add-on that allows you to convert any 3D environment into a black and white manga themed sketch in just few clicks. The add-on works in the end panel of the compositor, and it offers a couple of features such as tone value, line thickness, and even how sensible the lines and tone are. Additionally, you can control the normal strength and individual colors. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.